As the huge and deep potholes of the capital Kampala continue to make headlines, City Lord Mayor Arias Lukwago says hopes for the Ugandans to see the dilapidated roads rehabilitated are on the edge. That was their mission. He instead urges city residents to brace for more amorphous potholes in the city, insisting that little or none could change. The people of Kampala in all elections have returned the opposition. And he didn't mince words. He said they will have to pay. Mr. Museven went back into his default setting and said, now, to hell with you, the people of Kampala. And that's why he doesn't care at all about Kampala. Because he knows politically, Kampala will remain opposition. He knows it. Lukwago insists that the government is intentional to see the city suffer poor service delivery as a reward for voting for the opposition consistently. Lukwago says while well, there are characters who refer to Jen Famsisi as one who would have changed the face of the city, he says she was only a ploy to lure the people of Kampala to support the regime and as soon as this failed, it was dropped. So he thought he would do tr that the people of Kampala would do trade off their political will with those cosmetic changes he had, uh, he had brought in with the advent of Jennifer, which failed, totally collapsed. The Lord Mayor indicates that what makes a dream for better infrastructure a fallacy is the budget reflections of finding development in the city. He says the budget for infrastructure in Kampala has been dwindling over the years, yet the release is also delayed. He does that even the recent releases will cause any change in the city as wages take the most percentage. We do not have a strong development budget as KCCA. Our budget is largely a conception one. It's a consumptive budget. It's about public administration expenditure, largely. And most of our development uh, programs are in the category or a cluster of unfunded priorities, including the critical road sector. Critical as it is, the road sector is largely in unfunded priorities. To Lukwago, the roads are just one of the ways the government is suffocating the opposition leadership in Kampala. Shamim Nawakosa, NBS, live at nine. The